with Mrs. Morgan. Here I am having my coffee. It's a coffee talk here. Mm. Okay, our next assignment is it's a barn. Okay, so there's like the one picture right here. This is going to be handed out. I'm going to take a picture and put it online so you have it. And you want to break things up into shapes. Don't get overwhelmed. Again, this is the same picture, just just a little bit more, more on, on here on the bottom. Focus on the top one. Which shape do you see? A rectangle, right? A box, a shoe box. A silo over there, you have that. Um, it's just a cylinder. Okay, so don't get overwhelmed. Break it up. If hers is scrap paper, you need scrap paper. Okay, so, the one, this line, oh, this is, Crayon, you don't want this. Okay, so right there is your line, and it's basically going to be that line right here on this on this paper, and it's going to be a distance. I'm exaggerating a little bit more than what's on the paper. I think it's easier to see when it's more exaggerated. It's so it's more. Um, it's less on an angle in the, in the photograph. Okay, so let's make the shoe box first. This line's going to follow this line. Right, vertical lines are always up and down. This line is going to follow this line. So do a cross vertical line. Okay. Now, up here, it's a triangle, but it's got a little bit of a curve to it. This line and this line over here are the same. And this line, this line, and this line are the same. Step away from your artwork and look at it. Okay, even me, I'm going to have to step away. All right, now, there's another little one here. So vertical is vertical. Now some of the lines I'm not going to see again. I'm, just, I'm drawing them because I'm drawing through the objects and I'm understanding the form. This is coming out. This line again, they're all following, they're following the same direction on this side. Okay, and then vertical is always straight. That's on an angle. It's a little hard to read, but that's where you go back and you raise it. Or if I was doing a pencil, I'd do it real light and airy, and then build up your dark. As you're like, all right, you're getting more confident. Uh, but it keeps that thing to raise the other underneath the Still in the sketching phase. All right, now in the picture, the, the um, roof goes off just a little bit, so I have a choice. I can make this come in a little bit, and then that roof will appear to come off. Or it can go out a little bit. And this is a roof, so now when I do the shadowing here, you're going to notice more. Use the side of your pe pencil, which I love. Here, we're doing our cylinder. Oval. Oval. Connect them. And it looks like a backwards U. Okay. Now, the next thing, this is a windmill. Okay, now, now, so now you want to get into your detail. I taught you guys how to do um, wood texture, so we could do add wood texture, make it look like panels of wood going on there. If you're good at animals, you can add animals, roosters, cows, whatever you want, flowers. You could put some of the, the fencing around it. Right. As you go back, the fence is going to be smaller. When it comes forward, it's going to be bigger. So maybe I got fence going around. I'm going to break my chalk, but if you have a pencil, use the side of your pencil. Um, and I'm going to do some of my shadow with this, with my broken piece of chalk here and there. Up here, maybe I want to put a little window. Doesn't matter the picture, but that's that's okay. The picture is just made for us to draw and understand the form. So there 
have had a little wind in there. And then if you see even here, maybe I have wind, little wind just here for the courses type. If I draw a line going across here, if I want to do a row of them, that would probably be the easiest thing. And then space them out. Then you go back and you erase what you don't want. They're called guidelines, and guidelines really help. I use them all the time. And that kind of gives me that more realistic drawing. Alright, so in here I'm going to do the wood going up and down. So it looks like barn cattle of wood. Maybe the door is on the other side. Maybe I could put a door here if I want. Vertical, and remember the line is going to follow that line. This whole side, this line, this line are going to follow each other. So maybe I have a double door here because you need that double door if you have a barn. Because the animals are big. Okay. And then here I have a pallet. It looks like a shed. Shadow here, feel the form go around, and you're, you're not going to shadow straight, you're going to go around. It's like almost like you're putting your arms around the form. Now, this is even a nice spot too where you're going to be going Google Image, or if you have some like magazines, and you get some ideas of what you want to put around. You're not going to see cer certain details too far away. And then you get your highlight. I think my highlight should be pretty thin here. You can always put farm animals in here. And you clean it up with your pencil. And so you get some more ideas online. And when the, they did put a window up top. I was looking at the wrong picture. They have a door here. But I'm, their door is more here in the middle. But then you can actually see some of these lines. You have charcoal, it would be beautiful in charcoal. Pencil. A lot of times pencils they come in different too. You have like salt, like a bay, hard pencils that can also like some have more ebony pencil. You get some nice rich darks. And so you got your fence there. And here we have a barn. This will help your perspective. And this is a drawing skill and also a project because we're gonna make this into a project after you learn how to draw it. And that's it. This is the farm project. And we'll be seeing you a little later. Bye-bye.